We got another explainer for you. All righty. This is one is on safe car accidents. Okay, I, I'm I'm in the oxymoron, so I'll, I'll, All right. go, I'll play along. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> a safe car accident. A safe car accident. Correct. Okay. Okay. So let's look at the physics of a moving vehicle. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's assume you're wearing your seatbelt, so you're okay. attached to the car. All right. You have all this stuff up front, you know, under the hood, the engine, if it's a front you know, front wheel, whatever, front engine car. Right. You have stuff in behind you. You got the, 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 the doors to your left and right. And nowadays we have airbags. Correct. You know, all those places. Yep. Okay. The doors have it. The side st- curtain airbags. Side uh, curtain airbags. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the only objective in a car accident is to take the kinetic energy of the car and do something else with it, <laughs> okay, in a way that does not harm the passenger. The passenger, okay. All right? So this is why you might have heard these things about crumple zones. Right. You said, why would I want to crumple my own damn car? Because the energy of the speed of the car now goes into crumpling your car right. because your car after the accident is going zero miles per hour. Right. Where did that kinetic energy go? It has to go yeah, somewhere. It's got to go someplace. Something's got to break. Right. You don't want it going in your head. In your head, okay? Right. Something's got to break. Okay. So, if you're not wearing a seatbelt, and you're going 60 miles an hour, and then zero, mm. and if that happens relatively quickly, as what happens in car accidents- You become a bug. You keep moving. Mm-hmm. So, what happens is the car hits the wall, and the car stops moving. Right. But- you're not attached to the car. You keep moving at what speed? 60 miles an hour. 60 miles per hour oh. into the windshield. Okay. Correct. Now, there are some people who don't wear seatbelts below like 30 miles an hour, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm not going fast enough. I'll wait till, okay. Here's, here's, here's a thought experiment. Yeah. Do you know how fast Usain Bolt was running when he set the world record? No. In the 100 meters? About 25 miles an hour. Okay? Wow. Maybe 24, something like that. All right. So ask him, uh, Usain, please do this experiment. See that brick wall? Run as fast as you can face first into that wall. <laughs> and then come back and tell me about how to, tell me how that went. Okay. So he would break his face, probably die. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And that's that's 25 miles an hour. Yeah, but at least he went out on top. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> my my favorite Usain Bolt plaque. Did I tell you this? No. I was somewhere. I was somewhere in Europe. I don't remember. It might have been Heathrow, one of the airports. And there's a plaque there. This is after he set his world record in the Olympics. There's a plaque on the ground, and it says, um, "Right here in you know night you know in 2000 and whatever whatever was his Olympics 2012, um, Usain Bolt arrived at Heathrow Airport." His plane arrived 10 minutes later. Oh, that's, <laughs> it's, that is amazing. Plaque. That is a really cute plaque. Oh, man. Oh, dude. yeah. That was, that was good. Okay. Well, I mean, clearly you are the fastest human, period. <laughs> You're the fastest. If, that's, if they give you a plaque that says a plaque, that, A plaque that's fun. That's, a fun plaque. And plaques are always dry and yeah. interesting. This was a fun plaque. But that's, I, that's, that's like Muhammad Ali. He was like, I'm so fast. I'm so fast. I turn out the light and I'm in the bed before the room gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going 60 miles an hour. Of course, the car is stopped and now boom. And here now you, you go are. 60 miles an hour and right. energy goes as the square of the velocity. So you have four times the energy as someone going 30 miles an hour. And you don't want to go 30 miles an hour because just imagine Usain Bolt running into a brick wall that way. All right. Right. So. The whole thing here is you want to reduce the time it takes you to go from 60 miles an hour to zero. Right. Okay. That's deceleration, a negative acceleration. You, you, did I say reduce it? Excuse me. You want to increase the time. Right. Because the faster that happens, the more damage there will be to your body. Okay. So when Dale Earnhardt was in an accident, in the in a track, and he was going upwards of 200 miles an hour, and hit some embankment on the side. I think it was a one car collision. I think there was not there was no flames, and it just stopped. Right. I said he's dead. Yes. 
because his body is going 200 miles an hour and a, right. f- and a fraction of a second later, he's going zero. Yeah. Okay. That's the kind of thing. Well, is his body strapped in? Sure. But is his head attached? Okay. The, your head is going 200 miles an hour. Right. And it's just attached with some t- ligaments and tissues and some bones. Yeah. And that'll rip off. Your heart is dangling there in the middle of your chest in one of its arteries. It's going 200 miles an hour. And if a fraction of a second, it's going zero. This Your heart punch basically can, can get ripped out of your chest and not come out of your body necessarily, but, right. but rip yeah. off of the part that's holding it, holding right. it up. So right. things can happen, internal damage that'll just kill you, kill you. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to stretch out as long as possible the time it takes the car to slow down. Mm. Okay? That's what you want to do. Mm. And while that's happening, have the car bear the brunt of the the reduced kinetic energy. Yeah. Let, let the car get de- banged up, beat up. Uh, let that happen to the car. Let's just make the cars out of marshmallows. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes. And that's kind of what airbags are, are marshmallows. Okay. Right. right. So. Not as delicious though. Okay. So when you do that, you reduce the stress on the body, giving your body a chance to slow down with the car in a way that does not bring bodily harm to you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's a video. On YouTube, last uh, some years ago, since I, I'm, I have no reason to think it's not still there, okay. called "And They Walked." Oh, I get it. This is a video of the most twisted, fiery car wrecks in NASCAR and Formula One history. Mm. Okay, and in every one of these wrecks, the person just steps out and walks away, while the fire. Folks come with the hoses. Okay. And they say, and they walk. And they say, it's a miracle. No, it's not. It's physics. Because every one of those wrecks, the car went a quarter mile down the track, spinning, twisting, bending. And there you are inside of it. That's quite the hayride you're on. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what kills you is that happening quickly, not happening slowly. So the longer it takes, the more twisted the wreck is for how long it took to come to a stop. And by the way, they're all in roll cages anyway. Okay. All right. So let's get that straight. So they're all in a in a, in a protective cage. Let the tires fly, flames come out. Plus they're in flame proof. Um, uh, suits. Suits, yeah. Okay? So what we're really talking about here are, are you going to break your bones? So the longer it takes the, 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 the accident to slow down, to a stop, the safer you are. Period. And if you roll your car, and if, you're, if, you're, if your hood doesn't completely crush in on you, if, you know, some uh, cars have ribs that go around where the door frames are, and if you're wearing your seatbelt, if you run right off an embankment and your car rolls down, and, all right, that's what you want coming from 60 miles an hour. Right. That'll do it. Just stretch it out. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Okay? So I, I've heard of police who've come up to it and they see how banged up the car is and use that as evidence that the person should have been hurt badly. Mm-hmm. When the more banged up the car is, provided the cate, the cavity where the driver is, is still intact, right? The rest of the car, let it get banged up. That's what you want in order to absorb all that kinetic energy. That's what I'm trying to say here. So, and by the way, that's why high jumpers and pole vaulters land in pillows. <laughs> And not on cement. Well, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> if you oh. come over a high jump or, or a, 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 a pole vault and you fall down gracefully backwards and you hit cement, you just broke all your ribs and your back. Okay? Because well, you they, went, they actually instituted that about five jumps in. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, t- the five guys that didn't make it. <laughs> so, you know, we should put some... Yeah, something should go under here, guys. <laughs> guys, I'm not going next. No, the question is, put... 
Why did you think it took five times to figure? <laughs> There's some physics idiots there yeah, figuring yeah. that one out. So you want to stretch out the time. So the 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 deeper that cushion is the less injury there is. And there's right. so little injury that they get back up and continue. All right? They yeah. don't have to, like, go to the hospital every time that happens. Yeah. That's like when they shoot the guy out of the cannon and uh, they shoot him into cardboard boxes, empty cardboard boxes that have all been stacked on one another. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so each box just Well, my guy, my guy got shot into a net. Did you go to the budget circus? <laughs> <laughs> Collect. The, the trash boxes. Right, listen, I went to a ghetto circus, okay? That's what I'm saying. It was very my, exciting. My people had nets. I they don't know have, where you, what circus you're going to. Go, to. go get some boxes. <laughs> because a net, of course, when you hit it, right? it's not rigid. It'll it'll absorb your energy into the, yeah. um, into the framework it's, of the stitching. It, yeah, but it... Also, may throw you back out. Boxes oh, so will what, never oh, do that. So what happens is, well, that meant is it didn't completely absorb the energy. Okay, well, it, it takes the energy and it sends you back out the other way. Correct. So the energy bounces. That can happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So so anyhow, with a car, you you want that's it's why head-on collisions are so deadly oh. because the car doesn't have a chance to slow down. Right. And the whole point of the airbag is to give you a chance to slow down in a very abrupt front end collision. All right, right, so the airbag will get there before you will because it expands explosively. It moves at the speed of sound, basically, when it inflates. And that's faster than it would take you to actually hit the dashboard because your car is not going at the speed of sound in the other direction, right? So the, the bag beats you to the collision you would have with the windshield or with the dashboard. And so, and then it's basically a marshmallow. Uh, so that helps because it's soft and it's cushiony and it del it increases the time that it takes you to come to a stop, mm. your body to come to a stop. So a safe collision is the one that takes the longest, provided your 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 driver space is not compromised. So when they say it's a slow motion car crash, that's a, actually a good thing. It's a good thing. That's a good thing. So that's all. That's all I try to say here. Well, I think the the lesson here that we've all learned oh wait, wait, wait is one other thing take you ever, the train. <laughs> Take the train. <laughs> that's, that's the real lesson here. The train is the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> because even if you survive it, you really don't want to be on that highlight reel, is what you're saying. Right. That's, that's right. not the thing. No. All right. So here's something to look for. And maybe we could put this in a in the sports edition. Um, if you ever want to know how badly hurt the batter is in baseball if they get hit by a pitch. Right. Look to see how much the direction of the ball changed after it hit them. Ooh. Okay. Gotcha. Right. So if it hits their thigh, but keeps going and gets caught in the catcher's mitt, oh, not a problem. Right. Okay. It'll sting, but it's not okay. If it hits the thigh, bounces forward. Oh my gosh! Because that meant all the kinetic all energy of the, the ball energy. got absorbed. Yeah. By the muscle and the right. bone and got sent back. So watch, now that we have it all in slow-mo, high-speed cameras, you can see what the exact trajectory of the ball is. Right. And the more the ball continues to roll back to the backstop or go to the side or go forward is the full information you need about how much damage it would have caused the batter. And if you don't see that, you know that how much it hurt when the uh, batter rushes the mound to beat the hell out of the pitcher. <laughs> That's when you know it really hurt. <laughs> uh, uh, plus, there's another thing with bat with baseball. You know, it's it's not a violent sport. Yet, if th they get hit by a pitch, they they're not going to rub it. Right. Right. No, they're, they, they're it's tough. Time. It's on. It's they, on. It's now. on. They don't want to show the bat the pitcher that right that, that the pitcher hurt him. Yeah, All they right. walk and it off, as they, they say. Walk it off, exactly. Yeah. And they're not even going to rub the spot. They got too much pride. Yeah. So so imagine if they were World Cup soccer players. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, if you hit a soccer player with a baseball, he would just fall down. <laughs> I'm shot! <laughs> I'm shot! <laughs> oh, Jesus, they shot me! <laughs> Who allowed guns in this stadium? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> And I broke a nail. Oh! <laughs> Stop. Stop. No, they always hold their knee or their ankle, right? Yeah, Even exactly. no matter what. 
the, the Academy Awards oh, yeah. for that. Anyhow, that's all the time we got, Chuck. All righty. <laughs> all right, so, any, so like I said, anytime you, you see one of these accidents, if someone says, it was a miracle, no, it's not, it's just physics. There you go. It would have been a miracle had Dave, Dave, Dale Earnhardt survived the, uh, right. his, his crash. Oh, and one other thing. There's a record for the person who survived the highest fall from a building. All right. Now, there's a height above which basically 100% of people are dead. This person fell from a higher fight and survived. Ooh. And they say they credit the person was, was religious and Jesus saved them or whatever. But if you, okay, I heard this. And I said, I, I need more data here. And then I looked at the building. The person hit a tree on the way down. Gotcha. Okay. And broke branches of the tree. Well, that's a good thing because the kinetic energy of the body is now going somewhere else right. rather than breaking his own bones and probably broke his food bones nonetheless. But in a fall that would normally kill you, if a tree is there, it's going to help you not die. Anything that's in the way is going to help you not die. So, all right, Chuck, that's all we got for this all experiment. All right. That's uh, a good one. What kind of car accident to have to maximize your chance of surviving it? Right. And don't ever run full speed ahead into a wall, please. Uh, too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. I'll put it like that. <laughs> All right. Chuck, always good to have you. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Keep looking up.